forgiveness, reconciliation, and evangelism. Lord, we thank you for the church at Busoga College Mwiri. We want to pray, O oh King of Glory, for the ministry of Canon Joseph Kintu. We want to thank you for the ministry of Scripture Union. We want to remember our chapel prefects, Joshua, Lord, we want to pray that all the students in this school and the members of staff will walk in your light and minister in charity and in love. Lord, we thank you. We magnify your name. For we know, King of glory, that you are the same. And this morning, let your spirit take control of us. May we decrease as you increase. And may you lead our hand and lead our feet to walk in the right direction. Lord, we thank you. And continue to bless us that the words that we speak and the meditations that we have in our hearts will be acceptable to you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we magnify your name. For we pray all this, believing in Jesus' name. Friends, we join in the words of the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen. Praise Jesus. Wave to me, everybody. Wave to me. I greet you in the name of Jesus. Mr. Makamna Namfu, do you mind coming here and taking us the first reading? A former head teacher. Former headmaster. <laughs> former headmaster. Praise the Lord. Uh, my name is Mark Munanaf. I'm in senior 6A, and I'm the former chapel prefect of the school. Our first reading is taken from Second Chronicles, chapter 20, from verse 15 to 20. And it says, Second Chronicles, be afraid. Go out to battle, and the Lord will be with you. Then King Jehoshaphat bowed low, with his face touching the ground, and all the people bowed with him and worshipped the Lord. The members of the Levite clans of Kohath and Korah stood up with a loud shout, the Lord, the God of Israel. Early the next morning, the people went out to the wild country near Tekoa. As they were starting out, Jehoshaphat addressed them with these words. People of Judah and Jerusalem, put your trust in the Lord your God, and you will stand firm. Believe what his prophets tell you, and you will succeed. This is the word of the Lord. Yes, let's appreciate uh, Mr. Mark Mnanamfu. All to Jesus I surrender, all to him I freely give. I will ever love and trust him in his presence daily. I surrender, I surrender, oh, surrender, I surrender, oh, all to Jesus, all to him, my blessed Savior, I surrender. Mr. Paul Tisovi, please come here and take us through 
the second reading. Mr. Paul Chesuvi. Praise the Lord. My name is Paul Chisivilukakamwa, Senior 4M. And the second reading is to be taken from the book of James, chapter 1, verse, one, verse 2 to 10. James, chapter 1, verse 2 to 10. And it says, Consider it pure joy, my brothers, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith develops perseverance. Perseverance must finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. If any of you lacks wisdom, he should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault when it will, when it will be given to him. But when he asks, he must believe and not doubt, because he who doubts is like a wave of the sea, blown and tossed by the wind. That man should not think he will receive anything from the Lord. He is a double-minded man, unstable in all he does. The brother in humble circumstances ought to take pride in his high position, but the one who is rich should take pride in his low position, because he will pass away like a wild flower. This is the word of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is why you draw near to me. Oh, to Jesus. Stanza 2, page 8. Surrender humbly at his feet I bow. Worldly pleasures all forsaken Take me, Jesus, take me now I surrender, oh Lord, I surrender I surrender all to Jesus all to him my place Savior I surrender home. All to Jesus I surrender Make me Savior
I surrender. Oh, oh to Jesus, I surrender. Now I feel the sacred flame. Oh, the joy of full salvation. Choir. May I invite Tamza Day and Mr. Paul Chisubi to come here and deliver your heart as a senior for. Some agents, Paul? Agents. The bishop, religious leaders present, our dear parents, the headmaster and staff, students body, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. My name is Paul Chisubili Kakamwa of Senior 4M. And I'm here to make a small speech, more of a farewell speech, but also a thank you speech to the administration and everyone what they've done for us. Muri is an amazing school. And I think I speak for all the senior foes when I say we've been very lucky to have five good years of learning from this brilliant environment. <laughs> There's so much that has happened along the way. The ups, the downs, the ups and the mishaps. But we're here today because of God's grace and everything that has propelled us to this moment. A lot has happened, but together we have grown. Many of us didn't know each other. I didn't know anyone when I came here. But now we have built friendships that are probably going to last for life. Built bonds that are going to make us to the greater men we are to be tomorrow. And that's something we shouldn't take for granted. I think before I hand the microphone to my colleague. I'd like to end by saying thank you for everything. This is not the end. It's just the beginning of something new. All protocol observed. My name is Moesi Joshua Tamzade, still on behalf of Senior 4 as a whole. Dear administration, we are so appreciative for all risks that you have bore, all the endeavors you've made to make us successful. At this moment, we are yet to face another big battle, but we believe with your help still, we'll be able to overcome. We've been in senior one to senior four, a journey that is meant to be walked for four years, for five years, but yet actually in school for three years. Those, this all happened because of COVID-19 but we believe we'll be successful. Our dear parents, we are so grateful for what you've done for us. All the sacrifices you've made, all the decisions, tough and hard, that you've made to make us come to this school and be successful as we are at the moment, and more that we are going to achieve in the future. We are so appreciative. To our dear teachers, thank you very much. All the encouragements that you've given us to us, the words that we can make it, the belief that you have had in us, all that you have told us, we are so appreciative. You know, just like a river, there is no turning back. The moment you flow, you always have to go. If you face the rock, you turn. Now we live 
and we believe we are going to continue moving until we pour our water in a bigger ocean, until we serve Uganda in bigger offices and in bigger places. We are so privileged to be the senior foes that are going to present this school this year. And just like God has enabled our parents to pay school fees till this moment, and the same God has enabled the administration to keep us in school till now, we just pray that the same God enables us to perform to greater heights and lift the school banner higher and higher. God bless you. What shall I render to Jehovah? Oh, he has done so very much for me. What shall I render to Jehovah? Oh, he has done so very much for me. Good morning once again. Uh, having heard from the senior force, let's also hear something from our brothers, Mr. Owori, Saul, and Otim, Otin Jackson from Senior Six. You are most welcome. Owori and Otin, you are welcome. It's a day for celebrations and it's a day for thanking the Lord. We should be happy as friends and as we welcome our brothers. Uh, the bishop the religious leaders, the head teacher, chairman board of governors, our parents and other invited guests, and the students' body, a good morning. My name is Otin Dixon Pedrick. I'm in Senior Six Sciences. And uh, on behalf of all the Senior Sixes, I want to say something small. I'll begin by, one, appreciating the almighty God for the fact he has brought us. It has been a long journey from our Senior One until you hear where we're going to sit our final exams in Senior 6, let us clap for the Almighty God. <laughs> Secondly, I'd like to thank our teachers. There have been hardships here and there. We have disappointed them over and over again, but they've never given up on us. And I appreciate them that even up to this point, they are still pushing hard to see that we can excel. Let's have a clap for our teachers. I'd like to thank the school administration that has organized very many occasions for us to see that we can interact more academically. I would like to thank the school administration still that has organized this function to see that we are dedicated into the hands of the Almighty God and we can excel in these final exams with us. Spirit of the Lord leading us through. I think um, this will be the end of my remark. Let me give my colleague to say something too. Our Lord Bishop, the clergy, the chairman, board of governors, the parent representatives, Pardon me, please. Our Lord Bishop and clergy, the chairman, board of governors, the head teacher, the parents' representatives, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. My name is Saul Owori, a student of Senior 6B. And on behalf of the Senior 6 students, I'm going to take this opportunity to deeply appreciate our dear parents for all the efforts. Our teachers normally tell us that the parents invest in us. So to the candidates, if it's an investment, then you must bring back a return in the end. I would like to 
kindly request all the senior six students to stand up and give our parents a mighty hand clap for all the provisions they have done for us. Thank you, dear parents, and we pray that may the Almighty God bless you all for all the efforts you're putting in for us and for not giving us on us at any point in our academic life since Senior 1. Then to the candidates of Senior 6, this is your final term, and you should mark it as a final term in Senior 6 and high school as well. Do your best and excel out of the level. There is a quote that I came across and it goes, no matter how far the river is, you must bring the water home. The UNEP exams may bring a lot of ups and downs, but at the end of the road, we must all ensure one thing, that we succeed and we raise our school flag high. Muri should be on top of every school. And I think next to Muri should be Wanyange girls. So my whole point is that to the candidates, please do your best and give in your best. Don't give in as a simple percentage of your best, but for this one month remaining, simply work hard and believe in yourself. It all starts with prayer and we shall be there. Then to the whole congregation, we promise to bring the best of the results. As we made it in senior four, we promise to make it again this year and we shall not disappoint anyone. Thank you so much for listening. When he calls me, I will answer. When he calls me, I will answer. When he calls me, I will answer. I'll be somewhere. Working for my Lord I'll be somewhere Working, I'll be somewhere Working, I'll be somewhere Working for my Lord Hallelujah. I'll be somewhere yeah. Working, I'll be somewhere Walking, I'll be somewhere. Walking for my Lord. Okay, choir, thank you. Uh, having heard from our friends, the senior sixes, Lord Bishop, allow me invite the head teacher to give us his remarks. And head teacher, you're most welcome. Your love is patient You fill my heart With so much peace and joy You're amazing You make my life feel brand new Lord Bishop, the Chairman, Board of Governors, and the members present of the board, the Chairman of the PTA, and members of the PTA present, fellow parents, our guests this morning, friends of Muiri, the students' body, good morning. I want to welcome you to this service, a very important occasion in this school. Thank you for finding time to come and be here with us this morning. Uh, 
as head of late come you to this chapel this morning we have come a long way the four year course has been done in five the six year course has been done in seven we have prepared these young people we've done everything possible in our means to ensure that we prepare them as individuals and as classes we hope we shall have a good return on the investment that the parents have made please don't disappoint us uh, young people senior fours and senior sixes we recently have ensured that we follow the school routine. You see, the school routine is what grooms people. The moment you're in the right place at the right time, then everything else flows. There, we registered 101 in senior four. We registered uh, 81 in senior six. We want to thank you parents for supporting them. It is important. Even those who have not completed the dues, please do complete so that we don't put them on the road. This is the last lap and we need all the support that you can give us so that we get the real investment that you have made. To the boys. Whereas uh, it's the end, some people tend to fly off the mark and uh, get into disciplinary issues, please be the good boys that you have been in the past few weeks. We should not get into panic mode. Some people get into discipline issues because of panic, but there is no reason to panic. We are here and we shall continue supporting you up to the end. We have a long day ahead of us. I want to thank those of you who were here yesterday for the homecoming and are here this morning again. We thank you very much. Can you please clap for them? I want to thank you once again and take this opportunity to invite our outgoing chairperson, PTA, Mr. Chiprop Julius, to come and uh, Mr. Chipro, Madam Jurua, and Mwami Wakasenza, the incoming PTA chairman, please come at the same time so that we. Uh, thank you very much. Madam Jirua, you're welcome. Your Lord Bishop, the religious leaders present, uh, fellow parents, the headmaster and your entire staff, good morning. Um, mine is just to appreciate the parents who have come all the way from your various places ab of abroad. And um, thank you so much for... Thank you so much, parents, for taking care of the children, for paying your dues, for supporting the staff. For those that still have dues, please clear them so that we have a smooth ending to the, end, uh, to the third term. Uh, to the headmaster and your entire staff, we appreciate all your efforts. We started this year by putting uh, a list of policies in, in place. Uh, the extra holiday studies that we, we, we purpose to have. I know you have done your best, and we thank you so much. We appreciate you are parents to our children, nine months out of 12 in a year. And uh, the, the three months that we come, that they come home for is a short time. We thank you for being parents to them as well. 
to the special students, to the candidates. The teachers have done their part. We urge you to do yours. Do not disappoint us. Uh, do not go into exams thinking you're going to fail. Go with the mentality that you're going to pass, and we expect good grades at the end of the examinations. Thank you. Uh, our Papa, the Bishop, the clergy, Chairman Board and your team, Chairman PTA and your team, Head Teacher and Deputies, the staff, and our gallant sons. Good, mo good morning. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. It is still morning. Good morning. God's plans are not ours. When I came in to worship the entire school, little did I know that I would be told to say a word. But I think it was God's plan that people hear my, my word. As you have heard, I'm Julius Kiprop, Kapkomu, the outgoing chairman PTA. We have been here longer, and we thank the Lord for the grace that we are in such an environment now. I would like to thank the bishop. In our region, Busoka here, really he has made our name high. Thank you, Papa. The board and the PTA, thank you for the support you have given to the school. I want to tell you the truth. There is no school in this country with the kind of board and the PTA you have. <laughs> Head teacher and your team, the teachers, thank you teachers for loving our sons. Normally I'm very keen on the material delivered to the boys, but thank you. We now pray that you have surrendered them to the final level, they will do their best. My colleague, the parents, parents, thank you for searching for fish. In Japan, the first lessons for the children, they give a video on how parents toil to get the fish, and it's a six in the children's mind. Real children realize they should not waste their time. So, parents, thank you for paying fees. For the gallant students, thank you for loving to be in school. For the candidates of S4, you people made a statement that you have been here for five years, but virtually for three years. You are not alone. I came to this hill in 81 June. S1 of 1981 June came in June. We only studied half a year of S1. So our olive was only three of years. But we are here. So you are not alone. The senior six, we are happy you are, you are making it. The two years are almost over. You are 81. You have, you have been well prepared. We are only looking towards the time when results come and you will be at the peak because we are at the peak even physically, as you are aware. There is no school at this height in Uganda. So mine is to say, prepare yourselves and believe in yourself. You will be a better human being. Today is not my day. I would like to give the microphone to our able chairman, PTA. Chairman, thank you very much for accepting. Take over the mantle from me, and I know you are going to do it very well. God bless you. Thank you, Julius. Um, good morning, everybody. Uh, your, the bishop, chairman board, and uh, members of the board, of the PTA, I would request you to stand up for the incoming PTA because we are not going to do this alone. Please be upstanding. There's somebody there who is dodging to stand up. <laughs> I request that everybody stand up who is a member of the PTA. Yes. So this is the incoming PTA. Uh, I would like start by thanking the outgoing PTA for the work they have done. They have done a commendable job. And that's why we are where we are. Let's clap for them. And I request we change the clapping. We clap Asante Sana. So, uh, today is not a a day of speeches, but I want to say the following. I will borrow the words of uh, a gentleman called Arthur Arch. 
and he says, start where you are. Use what you have. Do what you can. You have had the team, the, the representatives from S4 and the S, S6. What you are going through are what they call labor pains. You are yet to deliver something beautiful and good and we are expecting a lot from you. The performance of this school is dependent on you. We are already high up in the cloud physically, but performance wise, we are expecting a lot. I would like to tell the parents as well, and I will echo the, the sound of the outgoing PTA. First of all, thank you for supporting these boys. Yes, we are talking about S4s, but all the parents who have come here, let's clap for them once again. Asante sana. Good. Um, I would like to read for you Joshua 1, chapter 1, verse 9. And this goes to our candidates. Remember that I have commanded you to be determined and confident. Don't be afraid or discouraged, for I, the Lord, your God, am with you wherever you go. I thought you would say an amen on that one. The Lord, the, the, our God, is with us wherever we go. Yes, we are going to have exams. The Lord is going to be with us. He will walk with us and we will exhale. So, with those few words, I've been uh, advised to call the chairman board, to invite the chairman board to say a, a word or two. Then we'll hand the mic back to the clergy. Thank you, Chairman PTA, my Lord Bishop, the DS, the chaplain, who is also the deck, the board members present, the PTA executive present, the headmaster with your entire staff, Invited guests like uh, the headmaster Wanyange. Of course, I can't forget Mama Bishop. This time there is the Mama of the school, Mrs. Zimbabwe. Our dear parents, the students, especially the candidates, the reason we are here today. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I want to thank the Lord, first of all, for making this day possible. I'm delighted that yesterday we had a very big gathering. Equally, today we have a very big gathering. I want to specifically thank the Lord Bishop for being here yesterday and being here today for this service. Thank you, Lord Bishop. Today, I want to start by appreciation, appreciating the different categories. I've already appreciated the Lord Bishop. I want to appreciate the board for a wonderful job done. Board members present, if you are, you can, please kindly stand up for recognition. Kindly stand up. Yeah. Lord Bishop, those are the board members we work with who are here today. The PTH executive, I want to thank you making the school what it is. Julius, before you handed over, and then Stephen, after taking over the mantle. Thank you for the job well done. The administration led by the team leader, Arthur Mbalule, we appreciate you we appreciate you and the staff. Staff, 
just wave to us, wherever you are. Thank you so much. Finally, the students, the students, particularly the candidates, I want to appreciate you. Why am I appreciating you? We have had some challenges. Some of you, your friends are not here now. Isn't that true? So I want to appreciate those who are here now that thank you for being good boys. <laughs> the parents, I can't appreciate you enough for paying the fees, for being there, and for those who have come, we appreciate you much more because I'm a senior parent and I know what it means. My acting last born is at university. But I go for VDs when the time is necessary. So I know what it takes. I have a few messages. The first message. Hello, students. The first message is to all of us. We should all appreciate that the Lord is in charge. Everything we are hearing. It's the Lord. The reading here, the Lord, the Lord. So I want us all to appreciate that it's the Lord who is in charge. And more so, to remind ourselves that this is a church-founded school. So it's not by mistake or by accident that the Lord Bishop is here to preside over this. You should count yourselves lucky, especially the students, that you are in a school where the Lord is taken seriously. So we should appreciate the church for starting the school and keeping it along those lines. That we take the Lord seriously and continue to do so. To the candidates, I'm going to start by blaming my younger brother here. He borrowed the very first message I wanted to quote, <laughs> Joshua. <laughs> so you have a case to answer. But I'll just elaborate that, you know, when the Lord is, I'll be with you. That's a very important statement. For every situation you face, just be far. You don't have to be like a, Joshua was being told, don't be like a Moses. But just be with the Lord. Wherever you are, because sometimes you want to mix issues. You want to be like Stephen, you want to be like a Moloke. You can't be. Just be yourself, but believe that the Lord is the one in front of you. And once that happens, all the situations are possible. All the situations are possible. And when you go to the other lady, whose children were being taken for slavery, but, and Elijah stepped in, you know, that lady cried and said, what do I do? My children are being taken. Their father was a good servant of God. But this is happening. We still learn a lesson there. That you use what you have. What Elijah told this lady is, the first question is what do you have? Start with what you have. Stephen has said it. What do you have? And you know the amazing thing is the lady brought, didn't have much. She was asked to go and borrow. Now, dear candidates, I'm asking you, what do you have? You have had teachers, you have had the parents, you have had the books, you have had everything. Are you using them like the lady used? If you haven't, you still have a few minutes to do it, a few days to do it. But the important thing is, as the Lord is in charge, use what you have. Use what you have. The battle is not yours. Use what you have. Trust in the Lord. Everything will come to pass with success. <laughs> to the parents, this is a trying moment, especially these days. In our days, you would be a candidate and you are the candidate. These days, it is the parents who are the candidates. Am I lying? So I know what you are going through. But this is a moment for encouraging. It's a moment for praying. 
It's a moment, a moment of positivity. Let's not blame. Let's avoid blaming words now. If for some reason the son has not done X, pray about it, politely talk about it, encourage, and success will be assured. And we shall be at peace ourselves. So I'm requesting, let's not be too anxious. Let's pray, let's encourage, let's support. We shall succeed. And the teachers who are in charge, I know how tense you are. Everybody is expecting so much. You know when the, the, the students succeed very well, it's the students who are very bright. When they fail, it is the teachers who are not, who are not good. That's the irony of that profession. So, but we want you to take heart. What you are doing is a calling. Sins and griefs to bear. Oh, sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to cut. A privilege to cut. Everything to God in prayer. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 My Lord Bishop, the Right Reverend Dr. Naimane, Mokembo, <laughs> uh, the DS, the Venerable Reverend Canon Patrick Mutalwa, hey, my Lord Bishop and Mama, Mama Lydia Florence Naiman is here. Mama, you are welcome. Mama, Tsanga, you know, you know, you know. Mukama Yevaziwe. Reverend, my brother, Reverend Noah Ngolobe from Castaime Parish. You are most welcome. The Lord Bishop has come with the Kataswas. Where are you? Kataswa. The wife is around. Mrs. Kataswa wave to, to these people. You are welcome. Then Dan. Dan, are you here? Mr. Dikusoka Dan? Yes. Whatever you see, those who follow the bishop's ministry, that man is in charge. And I'm sure whatever he has seen us do here, he should have, he might have posted already. He's, he's the one in charge. And the our drivers who have brought our guests, I will come to you. Uh, Lord Bishop, before you here, I'm Reverend Canon Joseph Chintu, the chaplain, with my dear wife here. Lord Bishop, today you come to bless the candidates and the whole school this your school gathers of the Cantales. Those you are seeing here and those who are not here, there are many drops of Cantales. Cantales, stand up wherever you are. If you are there, the Cantales, stand up. Mr. Wakasenza, stand up. Where are the rest? The rest are behind the other side. They are all Cantales, and many are even outside. You can see them the other side. There are many. Thank you so much. You are following uh, Mr. Uh, Robert James Chisubi in supporting the school. We have the chair, eh? Julius Tiprop, and Mama. Take us there, yes. Lord Bishop, these are 10 years down the road since you sent me here to be the chaplain of the school. But the main, the main the main job of Julius Chiprop is to ferry Sabines from the hills to Soga College. Thank you so much. He even whispered to the bishop of Sabay Diocese and said, bring your son. What is the small chipto? Small chipto. He's there. He has been here six years also, down the road. 
and now he's a candidate. Senior, a senior candidate is a senior five. So thank you so much, Julius. Uh, Lord Bishop, with us here, we have the representative of the president, the RDC of Jinja District, Mr. Richard Gulume Baliaino Omuise Kaima. Omukungani wa Ise Kaima, Monsi Yona Yona. He comes. Oku kule mimi moja governmenti, aya atai diyo wamu ana we, wava muganda we ayo rubu kulubu timu ana, dembalulez, because the Arthur Joshua Mbalule is the head teacher here, omu ise kaima, kene kene, nga aye bwama ni Margaret Mbalule. You are most welcome. Thank you for supporting. Uh, Lord Bishop, we have uh, Dr. Cheyamwa is here, a member of the board. Lord Bishop, we have uh, Mr. Balonde, the principal of Igangakwa PTC, but also a member of the PT, PT Balonde, but also a member of the PTA. You're most welcome. Lord Bishop, we have engineer Saul Mlondo. If I've cited rightly, Omu is Mlondo Nazala by Mlondo Abisenai. You are most welcome, engineer. We have the head teacher of Soga College, Wanyang. She is called Madame Deborah Basekanacho Wesonga. You are most welcome. Thank you for welcoming the bishop when he was there. And thank you for keeping our girls. I'm also a parent in the school. Lord Bishop, we have my teacher, Mr. Semwanga, and the headmaster of, Soga, of Chira College of Tiki. Mr. Semwanga, you are welcome to the school. Mr. Semwanga, this is the school. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah! He taught me paper four, divinity, in the mighty school. But this is the school. <laughs> so thank you. I'm still in the line. Tiva kumeini. So friends, you are most welcome. Uh, Lord Bishop, when you are not here, I speak many words to represent you. And now that you are here, just allow me to invite the Dasan Secretary to welcome you and you will tell us what next. Yes. My Lord Bishop, the Right Reverend Dr. Paul Moses Samson Naimane Mokembo and Mama, the protocol has already been observed. I just have to say the protocol as above. Just want to take this opportunity to welcome you to this, your school. I understand you were here yesterday. Today you are here. I think the women will welcome you when you come tomorrow, because it is your school. <laughs> Lord Bishop, we just want to thank you because you have sounded the drum for our schools. As far as education is concerned, no matter that we are moving, the performance is moving from one level to another. There is a testimony and it will remain. People will remain testifying. My Lord Bishop, Tim is tougher than what you think is tough. So remain encouraged. 
If you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. Just a small positive thought can change your whole life, can change your future, can change your family, can change your clan, can change the whole world. Change your thought and you change your, your world. Stay blessed. I want to push back this microphone to the chaplain. Thank you, Chipto. We shall stand as the, the bishop. <laughs> Thank you, DS. Where is the Chipto? Chipto, come. I will invite you to stand up. And this is the men. Now, Madam Deborah, you are used to listening to smooth voices. For us here, <laughs> just enjoy. <laughs> you have come to the hill of men. But there you have all the stereo, all the soft voices. Ah. Hey, for us, these are now rough. But we try. So please, a hot praise as we, the bishop comes to speak to us. We shall stand. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Wambia Farao, Mimina Okoka, Sita Rudi Numa, Minenda Kanani. Wambia Farao, Mimina Okoka, Sita Rudi Numa, Mimina Enda Kanani. Mambia Farao, Mimina Okoka, Sita Rudi Numa, Minenda Kanani. Mambia. Ni farao mimi na okoka sita rudi nyumba mimi naenda kanani he farao mimi na okoka sita rudi nyumba mimi naenda kanani he mambie farao mimi na okoka sita rudi nyumba mimi naenda kanani mambie farao mimi na okoka Sita rudi nyuma mimi naenda kanani naenda kanani naenda kanani naenda kanani mimi naenda kanani Haleluya Amen I'm trading my sorrows I'm trading my shame I'm laying them down for the joy of the Lord I'm trading my sorrows. I'm trading my sorrow. I'm trading my shame. I'm trading my sorrow. I'm trading my sorrow. Yes, Lord. I'm trading my shame. Hey, hey, I'm laying them down for the joy of the Lord. I'm yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes. Yes Lord, yes Lord, yes, yes Lord, yes Lord, yes Lord, yes, yes Lord, Amen. Simba wa yudana ni kama wewe. 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 Nani kama wewe? 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 Hallelujah! Amen. Praise the Lord. Let us pray as we are. Heavenly Father and King of Lords, we come before your presence today. And Lord, we have come to commission our senior fours and Essex. Father, we ask your blessing. And Father, let the words I'm going to speak be grammar words. 
to these candidates, Lord. Father, once with us, we invite Jesus, the Son of the living God, to be with us. And Lord, we want to see your, your presence prevailing. We give you glory and honor because whenever we stand here and pray, you always answer our prayers. And I believe today, already we have begun answering our prayers, Lord. Speak to me, the Lord, I speak to our children, in the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Diocesan Secretary of Soga Diocese, Venerable Reverend Colonel Patrick Mutarua, together with the Chaplain of Soko Jimuiri, Reverend Kanoni Joseph Chintu, and your dear wife, and Reverend Noah. Ngolobe, you are welcome whenever I come to Soka Kweji Muyiri. At this time, I welcome the RDC of Jinja, Mr. Richard Gurume Bariaino. Thank you for coming on this day as we bless our candidates here. The head teacher, Mr. Arthur, and your dear wife, the chairman board. Engineer Dr. James Muruke and the members of the board present, Chairman Board, outgoing and incoming, Chairman PTA. The coming one is Mr. Wakasenza. And then we have the new PTA members, where we have Mr. Balondem. Principal Iganga and many others. And I stand before you thanking our teachers, the guarantee teachers. You have been with these boys four to six years. And now you are presenting them. We want to thank God for the a teachers who have come to represent other head teachers. You are welcome. The head teacher of Chira College of Butichi. I, I, I can see you and I will know you more. But also we have Madame Deborah Basikanacho from Wanyang. It is a sister school but I cannot forget also to welcome Mr. Robert Chisubi and your dear wife, Doctor. You are always present. And the entire parents plus the body, the school body. Today, to me, is a special day I have come with my wife. I don't normally travel with her. Uh, she's a bit sickly, although she looks healthy. <laughs> so, many times I leave her home, nursing and treating herself. I have come with my son, one of my sons, Katasua. In the future, he will be a potential parent to the school. <laughs> but before I deliver my sermon, I have been in all, in all church-founded schools in the diocese. I don't know how the teachers thought it that it is, it is the bishop to bless the candidates. It may, not, it may look 
not normal, but again, it's normal because the bishop, I had these schools. And there's no reason why I cannot come here at Psalco Ejimuiri. I want to thank the chairman of the Board of Education of Soka Diocese, Engineer James Simuruke. We have worked together. I don't know where you get time always to come. Whenever we call upon you, even if we don't call you, you come. You have education in the Musoga at heart. And I can say, Mr. Mbalule, you're one of the latest head teachers. I have traveled to all the schools. I'm remaining with some small schools, not compared to Musoga. <laughs> <laughs> I But when you're and Musoga, I believe you have the best board of governors. I believe, and you have done your work. Let me request all the body members of Soko Jimini to stand up. These are the men. These are the women. They work a day and night. That Soko Jimini will rise up like before, like after. We thank you. Continue with this noble work. Yesterday, I was talking about Musaka Koeji, Muiri, comparing it to our identity. Mr. Aradisi Walake, to be in the Jinja district where Musaka Koeji Muiri is. Wanyange <laughs> is a state school. But Muiri is in your district. I want to thank the parents for bringing your boys to this school. And paying school fees. Parents, we treasure you. We love you because you have supported the school. Let me talk to the parents of S4, of the, the, the parents of Candace of S4. It's my prayer that you will bring boys back to S5. Because something good has been installed in them. You take them away, you are going to bless other schools. It's my prayer, my humble prayer that the boys in S4, let them continue with S5. For continuity, for the promotion of the school, and for the well-being of the school. Remember some years back, Mr. Robert Chisubi, we used to, hear, we used to come here and cry and cry because of so called humility. Listen to the parents. We are no longer crying. This day we are celebrating from Sohako Ejimuiri. The cries have, been, has, have gone. All the tears have been wept away. Now we are waiting for only joys, tears of joy. Mr. Chip Road, seeing the school back to its glory. And you can see the boys, you can see the teachers. All of them are ready to do the work in this school. We have come to bless our candidates. Let me use the words of uh, the S4 representative, the candidate. They said, we are representing the school. Let me echo candidates of, of S4, candidates of S6, you are representing Busoka Koeji Mwiri, 20. 23 in the exams. That's why you have heard all the speeches. Standing here was encouraging you. 
And also I've come to encourage you, we have come to pray with you, that the Almighty God will be with you during the examination time. Humbly, as the teacher has said, this is not my work, but I'm a stakeholder in this school. If you have not paid school fees, <laughs> I joined the teacher so that you clear that the boys end well the year 2023. I'm excited whenever I stand before students, especially candidates. Because I remember some time long, long, long time ago, I was a candidate. Of course, when you're a candidate, you have the anxiety, you think a lot, you begin dreaming, you have visions after this, I want to do this. Which is true. But I love one of the lessons we read here from Second Chronicles chapter 20 and we began from verse 15. Second Chronicles chapter 20 beginning from verse 15. And he said, listen, all of you all you of Judah Jerusalem, and you king and you king Jehoshaphat that says the Lord to you do not be afraid no dismayed because of this great multitude for the battle is not yours but God's this was a trying moment for king Jehoshaphat Ammon, Moab, gathered at Mount Syria, Seili, and they wanted to defeat King Jehoshaphat. But now, the man of God, of God comes and says, the battle of King, King, King Jehoshaphat is not yours. The battle is for the Lord. Why did the king fear the battle? In the battle, there is death. There is injury. There is sexual violence. There is malnutrition. There is illness and disability. That's why the king feared. He knew that if his kingdom is attacked, Many people are going to die. Many people are going to be injured. Sexual violence against especially girls and women. Biotunition and illness and disability. There was a cause to fear. And I want to stand with the candidates. True. If you don't fear, you are not a human being. It's normal to fear. All such times we fear. The mountains melt like wax at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the Lord of the whole earth. Again, King David was challenged. But he knew that he had the presence of God following him. And where there is the presence of God, it means that God himself is there. And he said, all oh, mountains melt. You on a small hill called Jumuiri, but if you have a vehicle in bad conditions, it can't climb here. But if you have a, a good vehicle, you'll climb. 
But if you, you have a bad one, <laughs> it, will, it won't. Why? It is a heel. It, rep it represents power. It represents something here. That you can't come to Mihiri when you are not prepared with your poor vehicle. Not until you claim on the top, then you realize that I have a powerful vehicle. That's what you realize. Now, King David is saying, if, if Mwiri Hill looks difficult to some vehicles, what about Elogon? The mountain of the sun. Hire, rocky, very big, melting before the Almighty God. I want to end by saying, what is mathematics? What is physics before God? What is chemistry before God? What is history? What is economics? What is geography? What is whatever case may be? Any, any, sub, any subject? I want to tell you during your examination time because you are carrying the presence of God, every subject is going to merit. <laughs> Hallelujah! It's going to merit in the name of Jesus. What an, 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 what an uh, analogy for this? Mountain is melting before God. Candace, I want to say our presence today, we have brought the presence of God on this hill. Amen. That when you sit for the papers, sit family, write family, read and understand, you are going to answer these questions. And everybody in Uganda is going to hear about Musa Kojimuidi. In the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This is my story. This is my soul. Praising my Savior. Oh, that alone. This is my story. My story. This is my soul. Yeah, praising my Savior. Oh, that alone. As the, the dose comes to present the candidates, perfect submission, perfect delight. Visions of rapture passed on my side. Angels descending bring from above echoes of mercy whispers of love. This is my story, my story, this is my song, praising my Savior, oh that long. This is my story, my story, this is my song, hallelujah, praising my Savior. Thank you. Lord Bishop, before the doors presents the candidates to you, as you are ending the sermon, the former governor of Iganga, Mr. Patrick Kayemba, jetted in. He is a parent here, and I think a member of the PTA. You are most welcome. Dos. My Lord Bishop, the RDC Ginger District, the board members present, PTA, the school administration, our dear parents, 
our beloved students, my name is Mwanda Samuel, the Director of Studies. Today, I have a cardinal duty of presenting the candidates before this congregation. Uh, I would like to offer the following guidance. We shall start with the senior four candidates. You will move forward and place the bishop on my left hand side. The elders, please. The elders and the victors move with heads up. Be in line. Let's show some emergency friends. If you don't mind, you do hurry up. I, Monda Samuel, I, Monda Samuel, on behalf of the school administration, the teaching staff, and indeed on my own behalf, I am greatly honored and delighted to present before you a total of 100. 84 candidates for commissioning. They have been duly prepared for this year's UCE and USCE final examinations. Do you believe that the candidates you are presenting to us for commissioning are duly prepared? Yes, certainly. Let us pray. Beloved, we have come together in the presence of the Almighty God and of the whole company of the heaven to offer unto you and unto him our worship and praise and thanksgiving to make confession of our sins to pray as well for our candidates as for, our, for ourselves. Therefore, let us remember God's presence with us now and the present and present to him our candles. Let us ask him to bless them as they prepare themselves for the final examinations. Almighty and ever-living ever God who by your divine providence has always called thee and commission the men unto his service. Must free accept these candidates whom you have especially guided through their teachers at this time of their examinations. I pray that you give them wisdom, confidence, stability, and peace of mind. Give them your grace to uphold them in all circumstances so that their faith in you and effort may not fail. Guide them through your Holy Spirit into all spiritual and heavenly wisdom during the period. May they sit for their examinations and finally their efforts be rewarded fruitfully by you. Let your presence lead and remain with them in whatever they do now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Now, I request some the teacher and some teachers to come and stand with us. I think even the board members and the PTA and the teachers, all head teachers, even from other schools, come and we join hands and we bless these candidates. And I request the parents seated behind to raise up your hands towards these candidates 
and all other remaining students, raise up your, your hands toward these candles. As we bless them, as we pray for them, I invite the teachers and the PTA and the board because they are always with these boys here at school. So it is prudent that they stand with us and we bless these younger men who are going to sit for their exams. And as you can come this side, and I request the candidates to raise up your right hand. And also we are raising our hands towards you. In the same mood and in the same spirit. We stand before these candidates as ministers of God, as administrators of this school, as teachers of this school, and the parents and the students' body. When we raise up our hands, one is a sign of surrender. For us, we bless them. The kind that say we surrender every paper, every exam unto you. Father, we pray and we have heard that the battle is not theirs, the battle belongs to you. As they battle, during examinations, writing papers, Lord, may he take over. Take over from them. We believe and we know you are the source and the, you are the fountain of all wisdom and understanding. We release the spirit of wisdom to them. We release the spirit of knowledge unto them. We come against the spirit of fear. Every negative word spoken against them, we cancel it, Lord. We have come to speak success to these candidates. And we believe as we pray for them, they are going to succeed in their papers, they are going to write well. And Lord, as we raise up our hands, Father, we ask for first grades only. All these candidates standing before us. May you give them all the wisdom needed. May you make them remember whatever they've been told. That Lord, they will understand the questions and Lord, they write them correctly and rightly. Father, we thank you. We believe the, the presence of God is with us and we are leaving it here. And you promise that you shall leave us alone. You shall be with us at the end of the earth. Don't leave these candles, Lord. Don't forsake them. Be with them. We shall come back here celebrating when they have passed very well. Thank you for this time. Thank you for this moment. We believe you have heard our prayers in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Rest upon our rest upon the entire school and everybody now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Jesus, thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you. We resume our seats. Thank you, my We are saying thank you, Father. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, we are saying thank you Father. Thank we resume our seats. My Lord. We are saying thank you, Father. Thank you, my Lord. We, we are saying thank you, thank you Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We, we are saying thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, my <laughs> Lord. We are saying thank you, Father. Thank you, my Lord. We, we are, are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Father. Oh, thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Father. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you so much, our Lord Bishop. And now, friends, we are going to give offertories to God. But at the same time, we shall have a special moment as the candidates we shall come and say thank you to god with the sacrifices of thanksgiving in the offertory and as parents as teachers as members of board and pta we have a reason to say thank you to god amen so helping ministers blessed assurance as we collect the offertories Praise a assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a false taste of glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchase of God, born of his spirit. Washed in his blood, Kalim. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior, O Tadelo. This is my story. My story. This is my song. Hallelujah, praising my Savior, O Daddy Lord. Perfect submission, Perfect delight. Visions of rapture, passed on my side. Angels descending, bring from above echoes of mercy, whispers of love. This is my story, my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior, O Daddy Lord. My story, my story, this is my song. Hallelujah, praising my Savior, O Daddy Lord. Perfect submission. All is at rest. I in my Savior am happy and blessed. 
Watching and waiting, looking above, filled with his goodness, lost in his love. This is my story, my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior, O oh, that he Lord. This is my story, my story, this is my song. Hallelujah, praising my Savior, O oh, that he Lord. Stanza two. Perfect submission, perfect delight, visions of rapture, passed on my side. Angels descending, bring from above. Echoes of mercy, whispers of love. This is 